Hey Pixies! So today we're doing a fun little leopard print mani and you may notice I have little shorties right now and that's because I had some damage to my nails so I just decided to trim them back and start new. So I'm going to be little shorties for a little while. So we're going to do this nail with this partial design. I went a little crazy on that one. <laughs> and then we're going to do the middle finger in the full design like that. So I just thought I would show you real quick how I do that. And what's on my nails right now, the white is Lotus from Dollhouse Dips. It is a UV changer. So whenever I put my nails in the lamp, you'll see what color it is whenever they come out. It's so beautiful. It goes from white to purple. And I'm using my Model 1's gel base and gel top coat and these from amazon these are the polishes they're gel stamping liquids so that's the black and silver i have here to do the little leopard spots so let me think is there anything else um i used the lotus and i did the clear coat with double dip used my double dip liquids and now we're going to do this. So I think that's all I needed to tell you. We will go ahead and get started. I'll show you first on my ring finger, the partial. I just do little dots. And I just do that and I kind of decide how big or small I want them to be. They don't have to be perfect because leopard spots are not perfect i do some bigger some smaller some are a little misshapen i just try not to pick up too much at one time because i can always add to it but it's harder to take away See, like that one has a little bit too much so I'll probably steal some from that to do another so I'm just going to take a little bit from there and put a little spot right there and so I don't go crazy like I did on that finger <laughs> I'm gonna stop there and then you can cure it whenever I did my thumb I cured each layer Whenever I did these two fingers, I didn't. I just did the black and then I only had to cure it that one time. So then I just start doing little C's and little marks around the silver. And you can do most of the spot. Go around most of it with the black. Or you can do, I'll show you on this one. I hope I'm, I hope you can actually see what I'm doing. Um, I will go like part way and then do the other side like that. I always get way too much stamping polish out. You really don't need that much to do these little nail arts.
Okay, so that's what we have. And the stamping polish, the gel, I have to cure it for about 90 seconds. And I think it's because the little dots in that are a little thicker. So I'm going to cure that for 90 seconds and I'll come back and then you'll see the UV change. So look at the UV change. That is so pretty. I love this dip. I love color changing, glow in the dark. I love all of those. So see how it just goes back to white then. So what I do then before I move on, I've been doing this with each nail, is I take my Model 1's gel top coat and I just go ahead and top coat that because it is staying slightly tacky. And I don't know why because I usually don't have that problem. Sorry, I'm off camera for a second here. There we go. Okay, I thought it wasn't cured for a second, so I was just checking it because this one black spot there wants to keep smearing. So I've been curing it after each stamping gel for about 90 seconds and then I've been immediately top coating it. I'm not sure why it's still staying a little tacky, but it has been. And I don't wanna smear anything or have anything get stuck to it. So I've been doing my top coat immediately then. And this little spot smeared a little, so I'm just going to wipe that away. Okay, so I'm going to cure my top coat then for 60 seconds and I'll be right back. And then after I cure it, it's totally fine. So I don't know, like I said, why it's staying a little tacky. Um, it's possible, I mean, it does vary by your lamp, what your cure times are. So it's possible it's something like that. But I'm going to go ahead and speed through me doing the spots on this nail since I kind of talked through the other one a little bit. I'm just doing the same thing, I'm just covering this entire nail. Okay, so I cured the stamping gel and did my top coat. I did forget to tell you, this is just my hand lotion, my hands are really dry right now. I did forget to tell you that everything will be linked below. I do have discount codes for Dollhouse and Double Dip. And I also forgot to tell you that for Lotus, I used my Double Dip base and I did three dips of Lotus. Then I activated and I buffed, filed, reshaped, 
and then I applied my Model Ones gel base and then I cured that for about 60 seconds and then that's whenever I came into the video and I did my little leopard print with the gel stamping polish. So just in case I forgot to tell you that, which I believe I did forget to tell you that, that was the steps I did. You can most certainly use your gel liquids with the dips. I do that sometimes, but if I'm in a hurry, I don't tend to do that because it does take a little bit longer, but I do tend to sometimes get a cleaner manicure doing it that way. So I may do a video, just a basic dip application video like my other one, but do it with the gel liquids instead. So this is our finished result. I absolutely love it. I love leopard print. I, whenever I was a teenager, had leopard print everything in my bedroom. So I have always loved leopard print, but I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications so you don't miss any videos. If you have any questions or video suggestions, you can leave a comment below, or you can find me on Instagram at Dipping Pixie. I'd love to see you over there as well. And that is it for this one, guys. And I will see you in the next one.